Okay, I'm northbound on 225, and I'm fixing to turn into Quail Hollow. It's actually Spaniel Drive. Uh, this entrance is a little bit hazardous in my opinion. And it's also easy to miss too. Uh, but these are some really nice townhomes in this area. Uh, I think most all of them are gonna be two story. Uh, and there's some of them for sale too. I think they're still developing some of this in here. Just to give you a, a point of bearing of the direction we're headed is about in the behind that wood line is Spanish Fort Estates. But they do have community yard sales. I've been to a few of them in here. It's real walkable. Yeah, there's several so far I've seen three in here for sale. Now, these are a little bit different back here in the back. So they have single car garages. Got one vacant lot there. Yep, they're still uh, building on some of these lots. Can't get into that. It's an apartment complex there. Out here working in the rain. Uh, that's another thing too. I'm want to point out too if you're having a house built you know, there's a, you can expect delays uh, because of the weather I mean the, the weather's a pretty big culprit here and it can delay your the completion of your house substantially and also we're having some issues getting contractors and qualified contractors at that uh, this also dead dead ends. They, they never took this straight all the way to 225. And these are some pretty nice patio homes on this end. You can see, well, at least they gave you a place to turn around. There's 225 right there. And you've got some hurricane damage. You see where the fence is down. We've got natural gas service in here. That's good. There's some meters there. Often I find those meters are not marked correctly. But it's got underground services. Uh, to the left, that's an apartment complex. Right? I think it's called Spanish Fort Apartments. There's not that many of them over there. So I'm gonna take a right turn on the thicket way. So I, so far I've seen four in this area that are for sale. But they probably pop up for sale, you know, every so often. So you can keep it on the radar screen, you know, at a later time if you're looking to buy a house in this area. And that pretty much concludes this neighborhood. You know, one thing that I will say, and that goes for any neighborhood, you really should take the time to evaluate the neighborhood. See, it's kind of hard to see to the left of this. You know, and these cars are going 55 miles an hour, and it's real easy to get pulled out in front of somebody there uh, going really fast. So, but you know, that's one of the things I kind of point out is that. Anytime that you're evaluating a place to live, you really should take the time to evaluate the neighborhood. And the best time to do that is during morning rush hour traffic and evening rush hour traffic. And also, if you see any neighbors walking around the neighborhood, you know, uh, maybe you can stop and ask them, you know, how long they lived there, you know, that you tell them you're thinking about purchasing a house in that neighborhood. And you'd be surprised a lot of these People that live in these neighborhoods are pretty forthcoming and they're willing to tell you, you know, things that might be important to you about moving into that area. And this will also help your realtor too. You know, really, you know, as a buyer, you should probably do most of the legwork yourself. And that way you're not wasting a lot of your time and a lot of the realtor's time, you know, running around 
of any particular city trying to find a house, especially, you know, after you've discovered that that neighborhood might not be the quite right one for you to be in. So I hope this has been informative. Uh, check out the other videos I have on, you know, the different neighborhoods of Spanish Ford. Take care.